Okay, well welcome to the second video looking at writing reports for the Cambridge English Advanced or CAE exam. If this is the first time you've watched one of these videos, it's a good idea to look at lesson one first. It's called Ideas for Content and we came up with some ideas for the content of a typical report. In this lesson, we'll be looking at organising reports which, by the way, are similar to proposals, which is another of the writing tasks in the CAE exam. OK, well, this was the task we used in the first video lesson, the tasks taken from the CAE handbook, which you can find on the Cambridge English website. OK, so as I said earlier, in lesson one, in the previous lesson, we looked at the kind of content or ideas you could use to answer this question. As far as achievements are concerned, we thought we could say something about fitting in with the team. Uh, something about knowing our responsibilities. And maybe something about managing the changeover from the previous post holder. So there's three possible ideas we can use for the achievements. Now in terms of problems, we thought we could look at particular software you may have to use in a new job. This often happens when you start work for a new company. And also maybe dealing with customers. So there's two concrete ideas you could use for potential problems that you face in the new job. I also suggested maybe coming up with a specific issue of your own if you didn't like either of these ideas. Then the question asks us to identify the training needs that we may have. Now this obviously has to be related to the problems that we've faced in the job so far. And we thought we could say something about training opportunities within the company that may exist, as well as external training providers. So these are some ideas for an example answer. Now let's look at how we could organise all this so it looks like a nicely laid out report. Well, I think this fits into a five paragraph model. In the first paragraph, we have to explain our reason for writing the report. So a short introductory paragraph can go here. Then, of course, we need a paragraph describing our achievements. Then a separate paragraph outlining any problems we may be having. And then, of course, another paragraph looking at training. Finally, I think it's useful to have a closing paragraph that acts as a, as a kind of a conclusion. So five paragraphs altogether. So let's try writing the report. Now in the reasons for writing section, this is pretty straightforward as we're told what this is in the question. Now, here's a bad way of explaining our reasons for writing the report. There are three things wrong with this introduction. How many can you spot? Stop the video if you need time to think. OK, well, to start with, remember this is a report, not a letter. So we don't start with Dear Sir. Also, a report's a formal document, so we shouldn't be using contractions like I've. This should be written in the full form, I have. Now the third problem here relates to the content. If you think about it, the examiner is going to have nothing to assess here as very little of the content is new. If you look carefully, it's more or less copied from the question. So there's nothing for the examiner to award marks for. So let's have a look at a better example. Now here we go. This starts with a heading, not dear sir. Now headings are good in reports and proposals. If you use headings, 
you're showing the examiner you appreciate the difference between a report and a letter, for example. You can underline the headings or not, that doesn't matter, but do try to use them. We've also avoided contractions, so we have I am writing, not I'm writing. And finally, notice how I've paraphrased words and expressions rather than copying from the question. So we've got as requested instead of been asked. We've got to support the meeting instead of in preparation for. I know this isn't a synonym, of course, but it's absolutely fine in this context as it has the correct meaning. I've also added a date. Now, I know there's no mention of a date in the question, but I think this adds a bit of authenticity and it gives me the chance to show I know a useful expression scheduled for. So that's our introduction. Let's move on to achievements. Looking at the notes, we have three ideas to include in this paragraph and it would be nice to start the paragraph on a positive note. So let's have a look at an example. OK, so we can see there's a nice opening sentence that summarises the fact that things have been going well. In general, I believe I've made a positive start to my role with the company. We then go on to give our three examples. I've quickly fitted into the team and have been working effectively with my colleagues. I have gained a clear understanding of my responsibilities within the department and the wider organisation and feedback from colleagues suggests I've managed a smooth transition from the previous post holder. Now, the first time I wrote this paragraph, I wasn't at all happy with it. I found myself repeating words like company and team too often. So I made an attempt to use a wide range of synonyms to show a better use of vocabulary. So instead of repeating company, I used organisation. And to avoid repeating team, I made use of colleagues, department and members of staff. So this is going to earn much better marks in the exam than if I'd repeated the same words again and again. Now let's turn to difficulties. I'm just going to use the two problems we came up with, namely using software and dealing with customers. Here's my sample paragraph. So I'll read it to you. Difficulties. My role requires that I make frequent use of Microsoft Excel as well as the MIS system used within the organization. I feel I'd be able to work more efficiently if I had a greater understanding of the potential this software offers. Additionally, I'm responsible for taking phone calls from members of the public and have occasionally had difficulties dealing with complaints. OK, I think this deals with difficulties OK. I try to pay attention to the fact that this is a formal document and try to avoid informal vocabulary. So I used my role requires that instead of in my job, I have to. A greater understanding is more formal than learn about. And of course, additionally, is a more formal way of saying also. So I think there's a formal tone created here. We'll look at formal language in more detail in video three. Now let's turn to training. We decided it would be useful to divide this between in-house or in-company training and training that we could access externally. So in my example, I linked this paragraph with the preceding one by starting with bearing in mind these particular issues. As you can see, I go on to write, I have spoken with the human resources team regarding training. I understand the company runs in-house workshops on using the MIS system, which I think I would benefit from attending. 
perhaps we could discuss the possibility of making use of external courses in using Excel and customer service training during the progress meeting. So I think that's OK for training. Finally, we need to bring the report to an end. Here's an example of one way you could do this. And there's one big mistake. Can you see it? Yes, well done if you know yours sincerely, Peter Travis, shouldn't be there. Just as we don't start a report like a letter, we don't end a report like one either. So here's an example of the complete letter. Hopefully, as you can see, the headings make our organisation of the report really easy to follow. And at 243 words, this is around the length of the report you need to write. So that's the end of this video. Our next lesson will look at the use of formal language in a report. And before you go, if you're preparing for the CAE exam and would like help with your writing, check out Exam Success Plus. Each series contains model answers to the writing tasks that appear on the Flojo website. And if you'd like to get feedback on your writing, find out how our Writing Critique and Correction service can help you ace the writing paper. Many thanks.